Hello everybody and welcome back to beginner astrophotography. Now in this video we're going to do a little bit different. We're actually not going to talk about astrophotography. We're going to be talking about visual astro. Okay. Now one question that I had when I first started out actually doing visual telescope looking at stuff in the night sky. One of the things that I asked was what type of telescope and I was told to get a Dobsonian. Now, Dobsonians do have to be collimated. For those of you that don't know what collimation is, that is where you actually line up your primary mirror and your main mirror so that way you get a proper image. Because if it's off a little bit, you will get oblong stars and the planets will look out of focus. There are two types of ways that you can actually collimate and we're gonna go through both of those today and we're gonna see which one would be a better fit for you. These are two collimators. This is called a Cheshire collimator and this is a laser collimator. Now in your Cheshire tube, you have these two pieces of wire that make a cross, and you wanna line up that center cross with the circle at the bottom of the mirror. After you get that centered, you have your main mirror that is now collimated properly, and then your visual mirror down at the bottom of your tube, you're gonna want that light to shine through right in here, and it will end up shining off the mirror through your visual tube and onto this and then you want that light to kind of go right in the center right here and that's how you use a Cheshire. The laser collimator pretty much does the exact same thing, only instead of a crosshair, you have a laser that you turn on. And it's the exact same way, you want the laser to be right in the center of that circle and then you want that laser beam to bounce off, that, off your uh, primary mirror to then come in here and then you want to readjust your bottom mirror until that laser goes right straight through here. And once you do that, you're collimated. Now that is the two different types of collimators that you can get for a Dobsonian or Newtonian because a Dobsonian isn't actually a telescope, it's the mount that the telescope is sitting on. The telescope itself is just a Newtonian telescope sitting on a Dobsonian mount. So when people say Dobsonian, they're really talking about the mount and not the telescope. So which one of these is a better way to collimate? Really, that's all up to you. The pros with the uh, Cheshire collimator is it's really easy to use once you know how to use it. The only issue is, is if you drop this thing, you have a chance of messing up your two wires. And if they're not perfectly in the center, you'll never be able to actually collimate properly until you get that fixed. Laser collimator has pretty much the same issue, okay? The laser is inside here and it is collimated, just like it collimates everything else, with three screws on the side of this that keep it straight. If that goes off at all, you're not gonna have perfect collimation. So both of these have their pros, both of these have their cons. The good thing about a laser one is you can actually take this and collimate your Newtonian telescope at night. Whereas a Cheshire you cannot because the Cheshire relies off of the sun shining through this hole to actually be able to collimate your telescope. So personally, if you can get them cheap, I would say get both. If you can only get one, I would go with a laser one because you can still use it during the day as long as you aren't in direct sunlight you can still use the laser one in a shaded area, still be able to use it. This one, only in light can you use a Cheshire. Laser it anytime you want to. But that's what I have for you on this one. Cheshires, laser, both good, both learning curve, just the laser's a little bit better. Thanks for watching. No, 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 no.